Hello friends, we've been creating lost presets in our daily workflow without us knowing. But the problem is that we don't know how to save these color grids as presets to use for other similar images next time. In this video, we are going to be looking at how we can color grade a particular image and save the color grid as a lot preset that we can use for similar images later in Adobe Photoshop. This is Twisted Creative, I'm Larry Benman, my name. If it's your first time on this channel, please do me a favor. Do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. Not just hitting that subscribe button, also ring the notification bell so that you don't miss any of the next video. Without wasting much time, let's get into it. So this is a pretty model we are going to be using. The first thing we have to do here is for us to click on this unlock to unlock the image. So we have, now we have it as layer zero. Then we'll go to our background and foreground here. We'll click on the foreground and make sure the foreground is white. Then click on the background then make sure the background is black then we'll click on this square with plus sign inside to add an empty layer so this is the empty layer with the empty layer selected go to layer then new then you go to background from layer so you are going to see this black stuff and it's going to go directly under to be the background image the reason why we created this background stuff is that we don't want any image to be on this on this background stuff so we are going to remove this image later to save a slot we are not going to be using this image later but we just want to use this image as a kind of sample image to create this color grid so we are going to click on this image Let's click on this layer zero, which is the image. Then with this, with this layer selected, then go to adjustment layer and choose black and white. Go to blend mode and choose multiply. So we are going to bring the opacity down to like, let's say, let's say 25 should be okay. So we have it at 25 now. Then if you take a look at the image, it has already taken shape. This is what we call brown skin, chocolate skin, or melanin skin. So, so this is before and this is after. This is before, this is after. It's a very subtle change there. Then let's use our control J to duplicate this stuff to create three of this black and white layer. So we've already made the settings here. We have the black and white adjustment layer blend mode at multiply then we have the opacity at 25 we just have to select it and use our control j to duplicate it twice so we need it twice so we have three of these layers if you take a look at it now it's like it's getting too dark so we can select the top one and reduce opacity more so you can see what we have okay let's just leave this at 13 then we'll go to the next one and Reduce the opacity to, let's say, I think 20 should be enough. The first one should be at 13. Then the second one, 20. The third one, 25. I think it should be okay, like so. We can continue from here. We have to select the topmost layer and go to the adjustment layer again and choose selective color. We are going to be removing some red and yellow from this image, which is going to make it dark skin. So we are going to reduce with this we we'll click on these colors here then go to select yellow we we'll reduce the yellow to minus 11 or 12 thereabouts then we'll go to that drop down and then color drop down and choose red then we we'll have to bring the red down a bit like minus 11 should be okay then the next thing we do with that selective color adjustment layer selected also then we can click again and choose brightness and contrast then we can pull the brightness up a bit depending on what you are having on your image if your image is having enough brightness that means you need to be reducing brightness but if you if it's if your image is having less brightness which is going to be you need to increase the brightness so what we are going to be doing we need to increase the brightness to an extent you know when increasing the brightness you will check the highlights if they are blowing off if they if they're being washed out you know that we no longer it will no longer be okay so we have to do it this way then for you to boost the colors you take it up a bit and you have it this way so taking a look at this image you notice that we have a perfect 
brand skin image we are going to be saving these settings as lot presets so that we are going to save them and use them for similar images okay let's see if the brightness of this stuff is enough if it's not we are going to pull it up more okay then add a little contrast let's just take a look at it so this is what we have here then let's assume that we are done with this stuff we have to click on this image and delete press delete so we no longer have this image here we have to go to file then go to export to go down to color lookup table so this is what we have here we have to give it a name here which is we are going to name it melanin melanin so we have it as melanin then if you take a look at the quality area we have the grid point at 32 which is medium so if you click on this medium here and choose poor it goes, it's going to move to 8 then if you choose low it's going to go to 16 then if you choose medium that is where it will be at 32 then if you take a look at the format here we have different formats here but we are going to be using cube so cube has to be checked the other ones need to be unchecked then you have to click ok then it's going to take you to a location where you are going to save it you are going to you are supposed to be choosing where you want to save it here then you can just give it a name also which is melanin you say melanin skin so have it as melanin skin then is click on save now i think we're done with the saving the next thing we do is that we'll just minimize and we can go to these are the images we are to be using let's click on this we have this as the initial image then this is another image this is another one also let's still take this stuff then we have to take them to photoshop and going to open them here so this this is just what we just threw with let's close this let's close this so that we we'll no longer see it here so that is it that's been closed then this is the images we are going to be using let's bring in the next image let's bring in this one as another image So this is coming as a fresh image now so how can we apply this stuff so we can apply it to this image now by going to the adjustment layer click on the adjustment layer go to color lookup table then it's going to show you something like this okay this is what you do you click on this load 3d lots then at the top here you notice load 3d lots you just click on it and you are going to see the stuff here you are going to see the stuff here even if you don't see it here you know where you save that stuff to that is where you will search for it and just select it and click on load this is it so let's see the before and after let's disable this to see the before and this is the after this is the before and this is after let's take it close let's take it close so this is the before and this is the after so let's try this stuff on other images like this like this one let's go to the adjustment layer and choose color lookup table then click on the load 3d lots then load 3d then you go to this stuff select it and you can click on load voila so this is it then if you have any other thing you can do to this stuff just like let's assume that the the color of this image is just too much you can go to the you can go to adjustment layer and choose selective color also then you can pull the red down 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 i think like so is okay then you can go to the yellow and do the same thing and bring down yellow the reason why it's like this is that because of this stuff is carrying more color compared to what we use for doing that all we have to do to this image now is just to save then we we'll have it color graded isn't that amazing so let's go to the next image and see what it can do to this image let's go to 
adjustment layer then color look up table click on 3d and load then go to that stream stuff then load look at what we have here what i tried to explain the other time about affecting the background if you take a look at this background let's see the before and after this is before and this is after this is before and this is after taking a look at the clothes you will notice that the color has changed drastically let's assume that we don't want this stuff on the clothing what do we do for us to click on this layer marks here then use our control i to invert the layer marks then you can see that the stuff is hidden now then we'll take our brush to make sure the foreground color is white and the background color is black then you can take the opacity to a reasonable amount or you can even take it to 100 depending on how you can handle it can reduce or increase your brush size when necessary then you can paint on the image paint on the area you want that stuff to be on can just paint just randomly paint but don't allow it to affect the areas you don't want it to affect can reduce your brush size So with this part of the face selected now you notice that we've done the color grade on just the face and not the background let's check the before and after this is before this is after this is before and this is after let's assume we want this stuff to be darker than this or brighter than this okay let's click on the adjustment layer again and choose brightness and contrast then we're going to pull the brightness up a bit or let's reduce the brightness and add contrast to make it shiny let's select on the layer marks and use our control i to invert the layer marks then we're going to hold down our alt and carry we are going to pull this selection with our alt head down pull the selection and drop it inside this box it's going to ask if you are going to replace the marks you say yes and you notice that that spot has been handled so if you take a look at the brightness and contrast this is what to just this this is a little reduction for the brightness and contrast you see so that is it that is what i'm talking about the selection of area you don't want it to affect the background so this is it let's see the general before and after so let's place this in a group with ctrl g then this is before and this is after this is before this is after let's zoom in to see it very well so this is before and this is after this is before this is after let's go to the next one so like placing all this in a group control g then this is before and this is after this is before this is after then this also this is the main stuff so this is before and this is after this is before this is after isn't that amazing Instead of loading this preset always, we have to install it inside Photoshop so that you have to see it inside Photoshop and can make use of it directly inside the Photoshop. Let's minimize Photoshop and we have to use our Ctrl E to open our computer. Then we have to go to this computer. Then this is the, uh, this is the local disk. You have to double click on the local disk. Then look for files, program files, open it, then go to Adobe open it okay we are using 2021 you have to double click on 2021 here then you have to go to presets then from preset you have 3d lots you have to open this 3d lots then you can pull it outside then you have to this is melanin we name it as we named it as melanin you have to right click and copy then you go to this program file adobe Go to the program file adobe adobe photoshop 2021 then preset then lut 3d lots then you right click and paste it here it's going to ask you if you you need permission to do this then you click continue it's going to drop it there then after dropping this you have to close this stuff and you got to close your photoshop also you have to so you have to close your photoshop also then we are not saving because we'll see, we don't need all this stuff so we have to close your photoshop and re 
load your Photoshop. So this is Photoshop. Let's go to the image again. Let's go to the image. So this is the image. You have to we have to drag this image to Photoshop and drop it here. So this is the image without any effects. So we have to go to the adjustment layer. Click on this adjustment layer icon and choose color lookup table. So you have to click on the load 3D lot file. Then you have to click on this. Then you will search amongst all these to see if you are going to see the melanin stuff. Then let's go down, 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 down. Then look at it here. We have this melanin skin tone here, which we just created. Then if you click on it, you just sharply see it on the image. So this is it. Isn't that amazing? I think that is it for this video. If you find it interesting, helpful, and useful, let us know in the comment section telling us the area it has helped, the area it has not, and the area we need to improve on. Like I said earlier, if you are new on this channel, please do me a favor. Do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. Not just hitting that subscribe button, also ring that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the next video. Thanks for watching today's video. Creative people, keep on creating. See you in the next one. Bye for now.